interesting. So you, uh, you've got your... Uh, got my antimetic, one hand. of my antimetics, and yeah. then, well, two of them, actually, because I've got my endentitron too. I've been on that one for like three, four years. You're not supposed to be on it long term, but I haven't quite figured out what's wrong with me yet. Um, and then I've got my cyclazine for when I'm really bad, but at the moment I've got to take it daily. Um, Oxynorm. Um, two different types you can get from that. It's, it's, it's in bubble wrap because the first time they sent it, it broke everywhere. Broke and just, everything. Yeah, and it's so sticky and it just got on everything. So they had to resend everything. So now it's always bubble wrapped and like impossibly hard for me to open. Kind of be careful what you wish for moment, but I suppose if we're ever in need parceling, we're sorted because on a monthly basis we get at least like a meter of bubble wrap every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can get two different types. Apparently, I, I always order the same medication, but sometimes it comes in a different form. Sometimes it's sugar free, sometimes it's not. And I have learned that I like the sugar free version because the sugar version tastes like. I feel like the sugar-free version tastes like off Lucozade. I'm not sure Lucozade can go off, but it would be like what you'd imagine off Lucozade to be like. Like, a bit too tangy, where you're like, I've been left in the sun too long. <laughs> like, not awful. I mean, you could drink it, but, like, not willingly. And then you've got, like, the, the sugar version, which is, um, which is like, off Lucozade with what I can only describe as the fakest orange flavour you've ever tasted. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to get, like, the gritty banana flavour, <laughs> like, medication that tasted fucking yeah. horrible? Never tasted like normal meds. It always tasted something fucking horrible, like the black currant one that tasted awful. It's like that, but with the off Lucozade as an undertone. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's fucking grim. I have found, though, that if you keep it in the fridge, it tastes nicer. So, so yeah. So. I've also found as well that depending on how sore I am depends on how good Norm tastes. So when I'm like desperately sore, that shit tastes amazing. <laughs> and uh, you can see you can see about the bedroom setup in one of the earlier videos that we did. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's my big old. And I have to have a big old box of meds because it comes in a. Sort of well, what else have you got in your magic box? Well, in my magic box, well, so I've got every every chronic chronic illness person who takes any opiates friend lactulose also tastes like shit, but tastes like sweet nothing it tastes like the base level for like a a soda drink do you know where you're just like i should probably add something to that or like the end of something where it's all syrupy it's like that so that's my lactulose so that's a um that's a um oh god what do you call it thank you it's not like it was in the name um this is a laxative and um that's that's to help if you get blocked up with um all of the uh um opiates and shit that i'm on because most of the side effects of a medication is constipation I mean, also, they seem to have euphoria as a, a side effect quite a lot because I read all the labels in my meds and I can honestly say I've had a lot of side effects. Never fucking euphoria. It's not fair. I always get like the face swellings or like the weird rashes or like the hot sweats or like the mood changes. It's never euphoria. It's always like paranoia or sadness. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I want the euphoria one. <laughs> Fuck you all. Um, then I've got long tech, which is the, so this is the quick release version. Um, so that's that that you can absorb that quicker so your body can process it quicker so hence the breakout relief this is the slow release version so if it was past just sent me a message Right, I just had a bit of a. Uh, I just felt the need to imitate water for a second. <laughs> Go wobbly and it kicked your head out. Yeah. Ow, twangs. Ow. It's all crunchy. Right. <clears throat> Where was I? So you've shown us your um, uh, short, long tech and short tech, or not to norm. Ah, uh, yeah, so I've shown you norm. What else have I got? Just realised that they didn't send me all my meds, so when. However, I have called Boots Pharmacy and they are amazing. So next, next going to do some travellings tomorrow. Mm -hmm. the again. Yeah, got my inhalers, which is really good because um, they've sent the wrong ones again. Yeah. I'm again clean again, so I can. She is clean. <laughs> it's clean. I'm ready to be defiled. So that's Gemma. <laughs> that's Gemma. She's uh. She's the the final house cat. She yeah. makes an even number of house cats. <laughs> Yeah, we've adopted Gemma. So you got your inhalers? Yeah, so I've got my inhalers. So they're the wrong ones. And what are the... What are, no, so, the, so these are the Salomon, but they're not the easy breathe ones. Okay. So I don't know if that's the same. I think that's the same, same, same. as the, so they're the Salbutamol ones rather than the Salomon. Have easy you been using ones. your uh, yellow one? No, however, I do have it here so I can demonstrate using it. Come then. 
Right, so I'll put those in there first. She says. That's um, the armoured box that you keep all your control all my shit in. in. Yeah, so um, that's my inhaler. So free it back and then that loads it up. <laughs> Great. Mmm, gritty. Paracetamol, which I always seem to order and always forget I've got shit loads of. Although you say that, I have been very useful for the lo for the local community in case anyone needs paracetamol. <laughs> Diazepam. Uh, one every day. Uh, ma mainly because of the small muscle spasms. I ideally, um, it would be prescribed more, but um, they have the <laughs> they're worried I might be addicted. I mean, the irony of it when they're prescribing like a liter of oxynorm. No, sorry, a yeah, a liter a month. It's supposed to be of oxynorm that they're supposed to prescribe. Um, but yeah, they're worried that you know more than two milligrams of diazepam I'll become a druggie, Ooh. <laughs> which I just find hilarious. Um, so that helps with the muscle spasms. Then I've got um more antiemetics and um, emeprazoles. Uh, what they have forgotten is the pregabalins, which are the neuropathic pain. So, you know, only the antiemetics and the painkiller are the good stuff. Well, the useful so, goddamn stuff. So now stuff, you've got actually. all that, like, you've now got to sort it all yeah. out. So now I've got to sort it into my boxes. So what I've done to begin with is I've um, put in my multivitamins and my... Um, excuse me. Into dosage Multivitamins boxes. and my... Um, because of the sulfate, so I've done three weeks. I'm doing three weeks worth because um I fixed my broken dosset box. Well, I say I fixed it. Nick fixed it because Gaff Tape fixes the fabric gun. Um, so I've got to make sure I remember which ones are morning and evenings and put them in a group together because otherwise I'm going to start accidentally overdosing myself and stuff. Right, so I've got to start one. I start one med at a time. I usually start with the the hardcore stuff because if I don't start one med at a time and I start doing just like a week or something and then splitting it up it gets so confusing and I am but a simple child who has already got confused so it reminds me actually we need to talk to the bin men about getting an extra recycling box for all the like the amount of medication and boxes I get from medication that needs to be recycled is just phenomenal so yeah we should probably have a chat with them oh uh, yeah because uh, I think we can get another blue bin yeah well we should be able to because it's kind of logistically difficult with all the cardboard and stuff it makes it very difficult one of the things that i find very problematic hence i always have very long um thumbnails if i can help it is um is the fact that popping them out sounds stupid but after you've done like three weeks worth it's a lot of popping out and that's actually quite a lot of strain on my joints so i try and pop them out using my thumbnails if at all possible and bending it over because i find that's the that easiest way to do it but popping them out such a stupid small thing that you don't think of Four. Oh, shit. Uh, on the plus side, though, I suppose, with the antiemetics, they give it in a bottle. Actually, no, so the last bottle I got was really useful because that was, like, prescribed in a small amount, and so it's the pharmacy bottle. And then they gave me the other bottle, and it was, like, a pop-open bottle. Fucking ridiculous. The only way I can do that is if I, like, stop cocking it up. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I popped all my long tech in. It's the start of my big pile of rubbish. And I'm, I'm now on paracetamol. So then I'm, I've got to pop these into each, two to each one. It takes so long. And I've got to make sure I do one med at a time because otherwise I get totally confused. And then it's, yeah, I'm doomed. Because it's real easy to be distracted and be like, oh, well, I'm here. I'll just put a couple of diazies in this one. And then, yeah, you end up confusing the hell out of yourself. Well, I do, and my antiemetics don't help with that. They make me a bit spacey, so I can put my phone down and forget what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the... You end up with so many bits of bobs to be recycled, like with cardboard, and then you've got like the, these ballista packs that you can't really recycle at the moment, so there's like a hell of a lot of packaging that you have to deal with with all of this. It takes forever as well. It's 
Summer Lion, I always end up popping out like one, like I always end up with one at the extra of any end of a packet, so I have to make sure I do it actually in order, because otherwise if you do too many of them, you always end up with like one spare paracetamol that I don't know what to do with. Starting to get sore now. I swear some of these paracetamol box things are so hard to pop out. That's the, that's the one I fixed. <laughs> Dosser boxes cost so much, but I have to say this one's the one I found the most effective because it's easier to use. But Dosser boxes. There's so many of them, and they cost like at least a tenner a pop for a good one, That where you have to do it like morning and night, but they're such bad. Badly made, most of them. So most of them are like that, and then they don't, they're they not easy to pop open, or it's difficult if your hands are weak. And then these ones are quite good, because they pop open quite easily, and they have little... Um, holder that you can take it in but you can take the whole strip off so if you're going somewhere say if I'm going to a restaurant or out to see my mates or packing I can pack for a whole week easily with this or I could just grab the nighttime ones and it's not a pain in the ass. Going out that was obviously pre-lockdown. Yes yeah well yeah. Now I just try and I've been I've been avoiding doing my meds because I knew I didn't have them all but if I don't do them like this then it's so easy to drop out taking meds and forgetting which ones I've taken and I, there's been a couple of times this week, cousin, now where I've been like, have I taken my meds? <laughs> I think I've taken them, but I'm not entirely sure. And it's kind of like some of them you can't really just like double dose on. <laughs> so it's uh, a bit dodgy. So uh, good one, Fee. My thumb's now hurting. Um, right, may as well do some antiemetics. This is my bag of random meds where if I haven't got like, if I've got loads of them, and I don't know what I've done. I, think, I did have a whole packet of antiemetic stuff, but I think maybe I've used it all. I don't know. Um, oh, and I got the, you can get if you're an asthmatic, just heads up anybody who's in the UK, you can get a pre-ordered um, prescription of, um, what do you call it? Steroids. Yeah, steroids for if you're having an asthma attack, so I've pre-ordered that just in case. So I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, as it always seems to be that way. So I'm just getting out some meds that I'm going to use, so while I'm here digging it all out. To see if there's any more amaprazole. I'm pretty sure I had a whole bag of it, but I can't. Can't, can't see it, so. so I use the ones I've got here instead. And there should be the cyclizine, cyclizine one as well, so I may as well. Actually, no, don't be an idiot. I just had a whole conversation with myself on the camera about how I shouldn't multitask. Mm -hmm. And yet, here I am, being a dick. I do this every fucking time to myself. I should know by now. I really should have fucking known, but I, don't, I haven't. Fucking tit. Every time, every fucking time, I'm always like, I'll just do this while I'm here, and then I get distracted, and then I forget what I'm doing, and then it all gets confusing. And this is not good for you. You should know better. You should know better. I mean, I do know better. I just apparently haven't learned, which is kind of worse, I think. Yeah, no, no I don't think I know that's worse. If you know that you shouldn't do something and you carry on doing it, that's worse, I feel. Because then you're just fucking idiot. She says with a pair of scissors in her crotch. I mean, there's levels. I just happen to supersede. Everyone's got a super special talented skill, haven't they? Mine's being a fucking tit. How long do you think take you to sort out? Uh, at least an hour. Well, I'm only on the third med. <laughs> so it's going to take me a while. I hate this so much. So I think I will leave you to it now and leave you to uh... Oh, nice, nice. And then you, I tell you what, I'll show you my dosset boxes afterwards so you can see the end result. How about that? Forever loses the game. Can you get on, Steve? Not too bad. It's like a game of Tetris, though. I'm not entirely sure I'm supposed to be able to win. <laughs> I'm trying to put these back in. So I think I've done all of that now. Oh, ouch. So I'll get rid of all the Have you done any dosset boxes? I uh, No, not yet. Almost. I've just got one more medication to go. 
I've just got my other antimatic to go now and then I should be done. I'm knackered now, but yeah, yeah almost done. <clears throat> Don't talk while eating. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sweet corn is good though. We finished our um, sorting out of the Dosset boxes, so they're all uh, they're well, all ready. I'm proud of my organisation. Look, looks actually quite neat. And well, that's the great thing about these Dosset boxes because you can press these and easily open. But yeah. So dos dosset boxes are all done. You've used up your energy for the day. I'm not good now, so yeah, so Nick's feeding me up. <laughs> yep, so you've got sweet corn with uh, plenty of butter on it. Yep, I'm corn fed like most good wheat should be. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then it's time for a uh, time for a nap. Yeah, time for a nap and a rest because I've had a very adventurous day by sorting out my medication. Yay. <laughs> Funny so. actually. All these people stuck in quarantine and I'm just like this is a daily life for cripples sometimes you get stuck in the house for this long so all those cripples are well practiced we're still frustrated but we're like oh, okay so it's like a flare-up okay I know how to handle this then mm -hmm. so you newbie cripples that have to deal with the cripple timetable that you can't handle it yeah so we're going to uh, we're going to put a concerted effort in to keep making vlogs so mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, give us a comment on this one we'll respond to it and uh if you subscribe to our channel, then uh, you can see what we're getting up to during uh, lockdown. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, tell us what you're up to. And have a good day. Hello, Fee. Hello. How's it going? I'm all right. What are you up to? At the moment, I am finishing off um, my painting because I had a bit of a hand spike moment where it just kind of went <laughs> with some of the white. All I can say is I'm grateful it wasn't thick. Mm. Unlike me. Um, I'm having quite a lot of fun at the moment though, but it would be real fun if you could come join us on the channel and see what we're doing because we're trying to make a bit more effort to get into a regular occurrence of doing things, mainly because I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. I was getting stir crazy before, it's kind of exacerbating the situation somewhat. So yeah, come see me lose the, my mind, maybe slowly possibly quicker than i'm thinking yeah so come and see our channel on youtube it's called hidden um and uh come join us for the craziness <laughs> yeah give us some comments have a chat let's be social and uh we're going to post quite regularly we're going to do some vlogs it won't be daily but we'll try to um yes. show us what you're doing and let's see what you're doing um fee's been keeping busy doing uh paint by numbers you can see a giraffe that sure. she's uh, a it looks bit, ace a bit bored at the moment but at least yeah i know it looks ace but that's mainly because i can count my numbers <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to um, see what other people would be interested in because I suppose it's my perspective as someone for, with quite a lot of conditions. It's my perspective of uh, how I approach things. But it'd be interesting to see what other people's opinions are on stuff like this, especially because with uh, conditions that I've got, they're so variable, and people can be affected in so many different ways. And I have found to date that the best tips you ever get are from other broken people. So yeah, come come join us. I'm not promising any good tips, but I'm hoping I might get some. <laughs> but no, come join us. 